Hello, folks. Welcome back to the channel. This is uh, another um, another comment video that I'm doing today for the subscribers. But uh, and I and I have other ones to post. But I look. I want to say something, okay? Because I, you know, I've had time to think about a lot of things and everything. Um, I don't regret doing the videos that I did to call out Bentley Coop and. Look, the thing is, I, I like Pedro. I like him, okay? He was gracious enough to put me on his live stream, right? And, um, you know, I I hated to have to call to call out stuff. I, I, I did because, because I love the guy. You know, I love these people, right? I don't know Bentley Coop. I pray for the guy, you know? And I just wanted to say that, you know, it sucks to be in my position because because I'm the guy that exposes everything. Right. And, I, you know, there's no there's no like easy way around things, you know, to like to do. I just wish that people would listen to some some things that messages that they need to listen to. And, and you know, we can't change people's minds and hearts, but God can. We need to pray for these people, pray for different people. You know, I mean, people make choices in life. They do things right. We all make choices, right? And um, I'm a I'm a guy with a really good heart. I care about this community. Most of you, or all of you, know that that are on my channel. Um, it it sucks to have to do videos like that. It sucks because it 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 hurts me inside. You know what I mean? And I don't even really want to read these comments, but I want to read them because you guys put the comments in the videos and you have the same feelings or whatever. But, you know, the thing is that the last, the video that I did earlier today, today's a, a, a Tuesday, the, the, the video I put out earlier, the, the humble, it, it, it's, it's almost like, like an apology, the video that I did, but I, I don't know what I'm apologizing for because I'm, I was trying to call, I mean, I was mostly trying to focus on Coop, but Pedro got caught up in that. Because he's interviewing him, and of course we have our own feelings, and we thought that Pedro may have done some other things differently, and whatever. But all in all, I love the guy. I want, and, and you know, I don't like. I want people to do good. I want people to have a good life. All these things, but the things that I talked about, the spiritual side of things, is really important, folks. It really is. You know, there's a lot of people going down the road to perdition, and I don't want to be on that road. I want to pr try to help prevent you guys from going down that road. Perdition means going to hell. If you, if you, when you die in this life, folks, and if you haven't repented of your sins and things and done what you've done in your life, those sins are on your soul, and now you're at the mercy of God to not throw you into hell. And most people say, "Oh, I'm not going to hell," but do you really know that? Do you know where you're going when you die? When are you going into eternity with God? You know. Now, I don't want to have things on my soul that, that you know, I want to have a spot. I want to be sp spotless <laughs> in front of the Lord. I fear the Lord, you know, but I fear him with a with a, a good heart, you know. And it says in the Bible to fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So anyways, I wanted to start the video out saying like this. It sucks because I really don't want to read these comments, but I have to because I want my subscribers to know what the other people are saying. You don't have to agree with everything. And I and I'm not doing this. I'm not trying to attack because I know there's going to be a lot of Pedro comments in here, and I don't want to attack him per se. You know what I mean? I I said what I said. I want to let I, you know, Pedro, if you're listening, I want bygones to be bygones, but I hope that you take and heed the words that you were told. Now, I'm not trying to tell you how to live your life, or anyone. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to guide you. I have some wisdom. I have some other wisdom that other people don't have, but I'm, I humbly share it. But if you don't want to accept it or believe it, then that's that's up to you. But I'm just saying, you know, I I, I I'm not con I'm not focusing on you guys. I'm not going after Pedro. I'm not going after Coop. I already said what I said, and it's done with now. But that's in history there. Okay. Hopefully, people change and they do better. Look, I'm trying to change every day, folks, you know. It ain't easy living this life, you know. But uh, we all have to choose something, right? All right, so here, here we go. Here's uh, 
this comes from Zindi. This has has to do with the um, with the pausing because I put this video out because I've been getting pause and everything. Now my dash ended, so I'm in between my four o'clock shift. So I'm taking the time to do this video now to read these comments and stuff. So Zindi B says yesterday and today is doing the same to me. I like. I make five dollars. I made five dollars yesterday and zero today. I call, and they said that it's the same. It is it. It's a glitch. Okay, so apparently you must have talked to support. So I'm glad that we know that we know it's a glitch. This kind of sucks because my friends were getting paused too. All right, this is from Design Dash. He says, he says he's he says we shouldn't offend Bentley Bentley because he's a driver. Then he goes ahead and calls us clowns because we aren't on his side. Uh, I think that what happened there was Pedro was upset because of a lot of things I said in the in the video that I did, you know, to call out what was going on. And I mean, look, I don't want to keep the thing going with Coop, like I said, but he he should have started. Coop himself should have started out in the in the thing and say, "Listen, I don't do." I don't do interviews very much, and when I do, it's very rare, and I want to say that I know a lot of you have your thoughts about what I do and what I am, and all he had to do was just come clean and say, look, yes, I work for DoorDash. I try to promote them because they're promoting me. I'm making a good living with it, and yeah, they want you to take every order, and they want you to take all of these no-tip and low-tip orders and everything, and, uh, you know, I just want to come out and say that, and uh you know, if he was honest about it, we 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 I'd probably be doing a Saint Vitus dance right now, jumping up and down, going "Woohoo, awesome, yeah!" You know, I mean, maybe I would have subscribed to the guy if he was honest. I mean, I you know, Pedro is an honest guy. He is. I could tell he has a lot of integrity. The guy's super intelligent, and I'm not trying to butter him up. I'm just saying that he's brought a lot to this community, and I can't forget that. I mean, if it wasn't for him, some of the things that I learned, I wouldn't know of. You know what I mean? I watched a lot of his tips, tips and tricks videos, and some of them today still still stand true. But like I said, I'm trying to make the community better, you know, and it sucks. I, I, I mean, you know, on one hand, I could be like all the other channels and monetize and, and make, you know, sell some T-shirts. And I'm, and I'm not saying it's bad to do that. But then I would be no better than everyone else. I mean, I'm, I don't know how to say it, but I'm here like a sacri sacrificial lamb to try to show people the, the, the right way to be doing things, I guess. I don't know. I mean, that's, that's what's on my heart, you know. But I'm, but I'm also pissed off because, I, you know, it's hard to make a really good living no matter what you do. It's not even about just the apps, folks. This, is, this goes with all of these supermarket chains, Dunkin' Donuts, uh, McDonald's, all of these stupid jobs that pay everyone brain dead low wages, right? And they expect everyone to live off of that. And then people say, well, go to college and get a degree. I already have that. I've been through that. I have a, I have a degree. Well, I don't have a degree in engineering, but I have licenses in, in, in the engineering field. I've been to school, you know, uh, I don't, I mean, I don't want to do that anymore, you know, but that's my choice. So, but there's other reasons why I'm here as well, because I got kind of forced into this situation through the hand of what's going on in the world. You know what I mean? Anyways, uh, Daniel, uh, Divine Dash says Samuel 2.7. Okay, this is great because it's from the Bible. Da Samuel 2.7, the Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. We bringeth low and lift it up. Lift it up. Uh, uh, Samuel 2.8. He raised up the poor out of the dust and lifted up the beggar from the, dun the dunghill to set them among princes and make them inherit the throne of glory for the pillars of the earth are the Lord's and he hath set the world upon them. Great, great biblical um, uh, word from the Lord in there. You know what I mean? It's awesome. Anytime someone shares that, I just, I get all tingly inside. Douglas Friedman says adapting seems seems to mean going along with DoorDash's manipulative programs, which put the drivers in even more of an employee position than we already are. 
We don't see full payouts. We get punished for declining non-profitable orders. We have to schedule almost a week in advance according to DoorDash's available times. I hate to break it to everyone, but we have been employees without benefits since day one, and we should be fighting any war we can instead of playing their games. I broke down my numbers for how much it cost me pay per hour just to operate my vehicle and pay taxes on what I'm making and what I'm spending about five to six dollars per hour just to work. Um, that's just fuel, maintenance, and taxes. I think if people realized that, they would be more reluctant to take low tip or no tip orders and realize that making twenty dollars per hour is really making minimum wage while destroying your vehicle. Let's also stop playing into, a, into the delivery app's word games. Stop using the word cherry picker, and vast majority of us are taking $6, $7, and $8 orders. That's not cherry picking. We're just taking profitable orders. Stop saying dasher and going dashing. We're independent delivery drivers for crying out loud. I, you know, I couldn't agree with you more, Douglas. I, you know, I'm going to pin this comment. I'm going to pin your comment because th this, this is an excellent, I mean, this is, this is a, another brilliant guy that knows what he's talking about. I mean, I almost feel like reading it again. That, that is an incredible, incredible comment. I mean, he just summed up basically what, what my channel is about about why we're not happy and everything. And then, you know, I mean, you know, Pedro would say, well, if you're not happy with something, then change it. Unassign the app. Don't work. But I've listed those reasons why a lot of us are stuck in this app, app hell, let's put it to you that way, because we're trying to avoid other things and that are making us put stuff in our body that we don't want. That's, that's a small, maybe a small or half percentage. Some of you don't know about it, but it's important. There's a lot going on in the world, folks. Anyways, Matthew Arredondo says the following is a response that posted yesterday on one of Pedro's community posts. <clears throat> he says, you don't have to like DoorDash. It's possible to not like the company and still drive with them. If DoorDash is evil, then it might be easier, be the lesser of another evil that's worse. These issues are nuanced and there are no convenient answers. Depending on the circumstances of the individual, we all have to do what we have to do to pay our bills and put food on the table. But that doesn't mean that we can't speak up about shady business practices of a company. Some of us don't have a lot of options in our markets, and gig work is, is the lesser of the two evils. And it may be all that we have for now. Maybe the choices might be gig work or working at church's chicken. <laughs> church, I, I remember church's chicken, folks. Church's chicken for $8.50 an hour part-time. Suppose someone in the bad marriage, su suppose someone is in a bad marriage and they were falsely accused of domestic violence and their only option is to do gig work. Suppose someone has a bipolar disorder, depression, and anxiety issues, and they are unable to abide by a W-2 schedule, and therefore gig work is the most viable option that that person has. Everyone should be able to make a livable wage if they're willing to put in the time. Yeah, you know, let me stop right there, and I'm going to finish the rest of this. You know, that's, that's a really important statement. He says, everyone should be able to make a livable wage if they're willing to put in the time. And here's the thing. This is what, what's so frustrating, folks, because we're all try like, you know, Pedro mentioned in one of his videos or whatever, the last one he did from last night, he said, you know, I used to work 10 hours and 12 hours and I don't do it anymore. But then I'm thinking to myself, well, why would you have to work 10 or 12 hours if you made all of that good money in your market that you say you always make? In other words, if you're making you know, $200 in like four or five hours or six hours, isn't, isn't that enough for you for the day? So, I mean, I'm confused, but the point of it is we're out here. I'm out here for 12, 13, 14, sometimes 16 hours a day. Thomas Schubeck, his normal day is between 12 and 18 hours. And he told us that, 
he stays out of complete, but he knows, I mean, we all got to do what we got to do. We got to make money, right? But sometimes you're so tired and you just throw your hands up in the air and you say, fuck it, pardon my French. And you end up going home because you only made $110 for the whole day. And you're like, it's nine o'clock at night. And you're like, I'm not staying out here for another three or four hours just to make another 30, 40 bucks. So you get discouraged and you go home. All of you, or some of you at least know what I'm talking about. Let's finish up the, uh, Let's finish up the comment. He says, um, in my opinion, most corporations take advantage of their workers and pay them too low. In other words, well, I'll give you an example. Corporations and these companies will only pay you what they what they can get away with paying you, not paying you what you're, what you're worth. They'll never pay you what you're worth. So he says they, they pay way too low. Uh, sorry, I got to back that up. They pay way too low. Um, and including DoorDash, we don't, we don't all have to, we don't all have the best circumstances and we all, and all we can do is the best we can in the moment. I drive for DoorDash and I don't, I don't like DoorDash, but I use the company so I can make money. I have to look out for me because DoorDash isn't going to take care of me. Yeah, you're absolutely right about that. That's my philosophy on that. You can drive for DoorDash and speaking up against shady business practices should be encouraged. We wouldn't drive with DoorDash if we didn't have to. Yeah, you, you know, you you just summed. I mean, these are two of the greatest comments that I've, that I, I mean, you, all of you are awesome. I mean, but some, some, these are brilliant comments. And this isn't to attack anyone. This is to let people know that the majority, the majority of drivers who are out here are suffering. And they, there's no other alternative. For some people, there isn't an alternative. So, you know, I hope Pedro's listening to this. I hope he is. But, I mean, the thing is, is, you know, Pedro's just one guy. So we don't, we're not out here to please him. Uh, you know, we, I mean, I'm out here. I'll help him. I'll try to help the community and all these things. Like, if he wanted help or whatever. But, like, I, at some point, you have to move on and just kind of move away from things that are dragging you down. Like, in other words, and I'm not putting focus on him. I'm saying, you know, I can't be stuck in the mud by making a whole bunch of videos about channels that I don't like or that are harming the community unless they really are harming the community. Pedro is a channel in which that he helped the community and now he's successful. But, okay, where does that success, where do you go with that success? Do you, I mean... In order to, do you make a balance? Do you try to like say, you know what, I'm going to like, I'll donate some of the money. And he does, he does giveaways. He does things. I've seen him do it. So we can't say that he don't. He helps the community, but like part of helping the community is also exposing the fraud of the companies and trying to, to go after them. You, you don't just let them go and say, oh, woe's me. We're just going to let it happen. And uh, we, OK, then now this month, DoorDash is reducing the base pay down to 75 cents. And we're all supposed to like that. We need to all go to court or go to the legislature and say, make a law to reverse this. So these companies can pay us nine and ten dollars base pay, which they used to pay to the drivers. Period. End of story. Right. But like most people are lazy. Most people won't do that. They won't get off their ass. And I'm not saying you guys, but like some people are like, oh, let someone else do that. That Oh, someone else will fight that battle. We got to start getting in the fight, physically getting in the fight. And I don't mean by with your fists. I'm saying by by the the, the force of law, because what other choice do we have? What if, what if DoorDash came out and said, we're going to give no base pay. All the base pay is going to us and you get zero and you're going to just count on tips. Would you drive for them then? A lot of people still would. I bet you a million bucks they would. All right, let's move on. Great comment, uh, Matthew. Say no to drugs says, no, it's not a glitch. I get paused after declining a garbage order or after 20 to 25 minutes of waiting, I get paused. Oh man, that sucks. That sucks. Matthew says, um, one of Pedro's subscribers said that they were disappointed with the interview with Bentley Dupe and that nobody should call workers whiners when the workers value their own time and labor. Pedro comes off as mocking people in the gig economy who are suffering 
and it is strange that drivers then drivers share their struggles with Pedro. He critic, uh, criticizes them for being honest because their vibes weren't high. That's like demanding a homeless person to give out smiles and high fives. I, I guess so. Wanting a better pay to cover the cost of the overhead is no way to for asking for a handout and a personal contractor. Uh, well, you made some good points there, Matthew. I, I mean, I, what can I say about that? I mean, it is what it is, right? Thomas, uh, okay, so Thomas Schubach, how are you? He says, I don't want to pay any attention to the re religiosity, re religiosity. Let's just focus on what we can actually prove to exist, like the ugly truth about this job, that there is a dark underbelly and it's being misrepresented by people like Bentley, who are out there to make a quick dollar off desperation and misfortune of other human beings. Now, if, now, if, uh, let's see, let's see. Now, if I trust Bentley Coop and follow his advice, I'll end up take, I'll end up taking orders for as low as 375 going 20 miles <laughs> round trip into dead zones. I'll end up driving 5,000 mi miles plus in one month and making 2,500 before gas working 80 to a hundred hours. Why isn't there? Why isn't he ever talking about that? Yeah, that's another thing. How come these guys don't talk? I mean, listen, Pedro has talked about, like in the live stream that I did with Pedro, right? He he. After I did the live stream and he went in with his his crew that he goes in with, he he mentioned it in the live stream. He said, "Geez, I didn't know. I didn't really know people are working that long of hours. I mean, if you are, God bless you, right? And I mean, that's cool. Like at least commend someone for doing it. But we're taking one for the team. It's like, yeah, a boy, at a boy. You're taking one for the team. You worked all day and you made ninety dollars in in what fourteen hours or something like that. I mean, it's it's crazy, isn't it? Um, the only thing I have to say here, um, Thomas, no matter what, I, you know I love you, brother." no matter what, whatever your beliefs are, whatever. But I have to say that it is important. I know you may not believe in God or you're not following God. That's up to you. And I'm not forcing it on you, but I do have a message here at the channel. So please allow me to let me put my messages out for the people who are willing to listen and, and take the time to do that. You know, I'm not overstepping my bounds on anyone. You, you know, God freely gives you uh a chance to, uh, make your own decisions and do your own thing. Um, and, but, um, you know, I have a good word to say here and I think that it's, it's worth, it's worth something, you know, it's worth to a lot of people. But with that said, I agree with like 99% of what you said here. So great comment, Thomas. Anyways, Nate Javel says, rideshare professional, DoorDash sucks <laughs> in the world according to Matt. I really appreciate you guys once again for exposing corruption amongst the companies. If I ever would have come across your channel, I would have never ever even known the truth about the dirty tactics these companies are doing in the platforms. I learned many things from your BitChute channel as well as especially about Agenda 2030. And, you know, I'll just say this, you know, Pedro did mention, you know, you know, uh, what are you doing out here? Like what what advice are you giving to people like for solutions? I, I, I thought, I think I've given a lot of solutions out here. Haven't I folks? I mean, please tell me if I haven't write that in the comments. I mean, I, I give you solutions all the time. It's whether you act on them. I can't, I can't save the world folks. I can't. I'm one channel. I, I don't make any money on this channel, but I mean, I can do things. I am doing things behind the scenes, but like you can't expect me to come out and say one day, hey, guys, I have $30 billion to give all of you. I just sued DoorDash and everything's wonderful. <laughs> it doesn't just exactly happen that way, although I would love to do that, and I will in the future. Um, I got to take this call. I'll be right back, folks.